video here, we are going to take a look at solving equations. So you've probably seen some equations before. Here's a few examples. 2x equals 6, x minus 3 equals 4, um, 2x plus 1 equals 8. Um, these are all examples of equations. And what makes them an equation is that there's an equal sign in the expression. And that means that the left side is equal to or the same as the right side. And the plan here is to try to find out what is the value of x that makes this left side the same or equal to the right side of the equation. Now the thing about the equations that we're going to work on here is they're going to be relatively easy. And in a lot of these, you can probably just look at the equation and figure out exactly what x is just by looking at it. For instance, on this one, it's 2 times something equals 6. Probably you can just look at that and say, well, I know x is 3 because 2 times 3 is 6. And in this one, something minus 3 is equal to 4. Oh, yeah, that's, that's x is 7 because 7 minus 4 is, sorry, 7 minus 3 is 4. So in a lot of these question, equations that we're going to solve, you'll probably know the answer just by looking at it. But what we want to learn is a method that'll work for all equations because they're definitely going to get harder. And eventually you're going to get to a situation like this. Um, oh, let's uh, I'll give you one like this, say. And you're going to not just be able to just figure that out in your in your head. It's going to take a lot of a lot more work to actually figure out what what x is. That's not in in this particular math course, but um, I think you get the idea there that they're not always going to stay necessarily this easy. So we need a method that'll help us to solve equations. So let's go back and look at this equation: 2x equals 6. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you to algebra tiles. So you're going to see these things and you're going to see lots of these things. This here represents an x and this here represents the number 1. And I'm going to use my pen here for um, an equal sign. So if I'm going to model the equation 2x equals 6, I'm going to need a couple of these. So these are x's, so this would represent two x's. And then I'm going to need six of these things. So here we go. I've got 2x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2x equals 6. Now if I want to solve this, I need to figure out what x equals. So I'm going to take my two x's, I'm going to split them into two different groups. And when I do that, now I can see that each x is obviously equal to 3. If two x is equal 6, then one x is going to equal 3. And so using algebra tiles, I have solved the equation. I figured out what x equals. Now, I'd encourage you to, to ask your teacher, teacher for a package of algebra tiles and to play around with modeling these equations. It's very important that we actually understand what we are doing when we are solving equations. And algebra tiles will help us uh, model those, those and understand what we're doing when we're solving equations. In this example, we'll look at 3x equals 12. So in my model here, I'll add another x. And there's 3, 6, 9, 12. OK, so we have 3x equals 
3x equals 12. Good, so now to find out what x is, I need to split these into three equal piles. So, let's see, yep, this will work. It looks like when we do that, that each x will equal four. So x equals four. So let's take these same two equations again, 2x equals 6 and 3x equals 12, and let's just see if we can do these without algebra tiles using algebra. So here's how we work on solving equations. I'm trying to solve for x, so I want to know what x represents. I have 2 times x equals 6. That's how this equation reads. If I want to get rid of something, and that's this 2, because I want to know what x is, not what 2x is, so I want that 2 gone, I need to do the opposite. And the opposite of timesing is dividing. So this is 2 times x. The opposite of timesing is dividing. So I'm going to divide by 2. But remember, this is an equation, so it's kind of like a little teeter-totter or a balance. I've got some stuff on this side, and I've got some stuff on this side, and they're balanced. 2x is equal to 6. So if I'm going to divide this side by 2, if I'm going to do something to this side, I have to do the same thing to the other side to keep it balanced. So if I'm going to divide this left side by 2, I have to divide the right side of the equation by 2. Now, on the left, 2 divided by 2 is just going to be x equals the right side, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So x equals 3. Notice that's what we got when we did that first equation. And if you look at the equation that we have right here, over here, 3x equals 12, when we said x equaled 4, Let's just see if we get that. So 3 times x, I want to get rid of the 3. The opposite of timesing is dividing. Now 3 divided by 3 is 1, so that's just going to be x equals. That's gone. On this side, when I divide by 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So yeah, x equals 4. So that's how we can solve equations using our skills of algebra. And to solve an equation, we need to do the opposite operation to undo whatever's with x. And then we have to remember to do the same thing to the other side. Now, it's always a good idea to check our answers. So here we got an answer of 3 for this equation here. It's always a good idea to take your answer 3 and put it into your equation and make sure that the left side equals the right side. So 2 times 3 is 6. Does 6 equal 6? Yes, it does. So we know that our answer is right. And on this one, x equaled 4. When we put 4 back in here for x, 3 times 4 is 12. 12 equals 12. So we know that our answer, x equals 4, is correct. So the nice thing about solving equations is you'll always be able to check your answer and, and know that you're doing the question right or wrong. Let's look at another example here. How about we look at this one? Um, 4x equals minus 8. 4x equals minus 8. So in my equation, I need to have 4x's on the left side here. So there's 4x. Now I need negative 8. So let's clear those off. Now notice when I take these red ones and I flip them upside down, they become white. The white represents negative values. So this would represent 4x equals negative 8. These uh, green tiles will also flip upside down and become negative when they're white. But in our case, our equation is positive 4x. So we have 4x equals negative 8. And just like before, I'm going to divide them into equal piles. I need four equal piles. So in this example, I have x equals negative 2. Now let's take that same equation 
and do it algebraically. So 4 times x, the opposite of timesing is dividing. So divide by 4, got to divide this side by 4. So on the left side, 4 divided by 4 is 1, so I just have 1x. I don't need to write the 1. 1x one is just x. And on the right side, I have a negative divided by a positive, so my answer is going to be negative here. And 8 divided by 4 is 2. So yeah, x equals negative 2. Now, something else to keep in mind when you're doing your algebra is make sure that your equations are always lined up. So I'm going to work vertically down this page, work vertically down the page here, and keep your equal sign lined up because these questions are going to get more and more complicated and we want to make sure that we're, we're organizing our work properly uh, and not making mistakes. Um, so you'll, you'll find it helpful to keep your equations, your equal sign lined up as you work down solving, solving your equation. We'll look at a couple more examples here. How about this one? Negative 2x equals 6. So now in this one, I need a negative 2x. So there's negative 2x equals positive 6. So I have negative 2x equals positive 6. Good. So now I need two groups. Okay, so what I've found here is I haven't found x yet. I found negative x equals positive 3. I don't want negative x. I want positive x. So what I would like to do is I'd like to flip these tiles over so they're positive. But remember, what I do to this side, I have to do to this side. So if I flip the left side, I've got to flip the right side. And so now I have my answer. An x, each x is equal to negative 3, because they're white. So my solution would be x equals negative 3. And if I was solving this algebraically, I have negative 2 times x. The opposite of timesing is dividing, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. Those would cancel out and just leave me x equals. And positive divided by negative is a negative. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So x equals minus 3. And finally, if we looked at negative 3x equals negative 12, we would have that modeled like so. Negative 3x equals, there's negative 6, negative 9, negative 12. So negative 3x is equal to negative 12. I need to divide them into three piles. So I know that each negative x is equal to a negative 4. So flipping each side over would tell me that a positive x is equal to 4. So with the algebra tiles, I'm getting x equals positive 4. If we were to do this algebraically, we have negative 3 times x equals negative 12. So I would divide both sides by negative 3 because the opposite of timesing is dividing. And a negative divided by a negative is a positive. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So just to review again, when we are solving using algebra, we do the opposite to get rid of stuff. So we're trying to solve for x. We're trying to find out what x is. Need to get rid of the negative 3. This is negative 3 times x. The opposite of times is dividing. And what I do to the left side, I must do to the right side. So we'll look at a different type of equation and how we would solve that now. So this is x divided by 2 equals 3. Now, I'm not going to show you algebra tiles with this one. We're not going to work with these here uh, for this one. It's, it's a little bit awkward working with algebra tiles um, when, they're, when they're a fraction. But let's use what we know about solving equations algebraically to see if we can solve this one. So x divided by 2 equals 3. There's my x. I need to get that by itself. So I need to get rid of this thing down here. I don't want this divided by 2. 
So the opposite of dividing is multiplying. So what I want to do is I want to multiply this side by 2, because that's going to cancel that out. Now on this side, I need to also multiply by 2. And so on the left side, I would have x, just x, equals, because these were cancel each other out. And the right side, I have 3 times 2, which is 6. Now let's check our answer. This was x divided by 2 supposedly was 3. That was the original question. When we put 6 in here for x, because we're saying that's what the answer is, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And yeah, 3 equals 3. So we know our, our answer is correct. So the, our algebraic process seems to be working for these type of questions too. Let's look at this one. x divided by 3 equals 4. Okay. So the opposite of dividing is multiplying. So if I multiply by 3, I've just wiped that out. Now I just have x equals. i got to remember to multiply this side also by 3. 4 times 3, this side would be 12. Notice I'm keeping the equal signs lined up. Um, how about this one? x divided by negative 2 equals 4. Okay, well, I just want to get x by itself, so I need to get rid of that negative 2. Right now this is x divided by negative 2, so if I multiply by negative 2, because that's the opposite of dividing, then that's going to cancel that out. Now I have to multiply this by negative 2, so I have on the left side just x, because these would cancel each other out, and on the right side I have 4 times negative 2, a positive times a negative is a negative, and 4 times 2 is 8. So 4 times negative 2, negative 8. And let's just look at a couple of more here. How about we look at this one? And then we'll take a look at this one. Okay, so looking at this one first, I have x divided by negative 5 equals 3. So again, I want to get rid of this down here. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 5, because this is x divided by negative 5. The opposite of dividing is multiplying. That just wiped that out. x equals, on the right side, 3 times negative 5. A positive times a negative is a negative. 3 times 5 is 15. Now, looking at this one here, the only thing that's different here is I have the x on the right side. But it doesn't matter. We're st our plan is just to isolate x. So there it is. I need to get x all by itself. That means we got to get rid of this negative 9 down here. So it's x divided by a negative 9. The opposite of dividing is multiplying. So if I multiply by negative 9, I've just wiped that out. Now I've got to multiply this side by negative 9. A negative times a negative is a positive, and 2 times 9 is 18. And so I have solved for x. x is equal to 18. So to summarize here, to solve an equation, the first thing we knew, need to do is do the opposite to get rid of things. So let's just show an example here. So I'm going to solve this equation for x. I need to get rid of this 2. This is 2 times, so the opposite of timesing is dividing. So to get, to get rid of things, I need to do the opposite. So dividing by 2 would get rid of that. Now, what I do to one side, I must do to the other side. So I also have to divide this side by 2. So now I would end up with x equals 10 divided by 2, which is 5. And the other thing we want to always do is just check our answer. So the original equation was 2x equals 10. I'm going to put that 5 in for x. 2 times 5 is 10. And 10 is equal to 10, so I know my answer is right. And the other thing we want to keep in mind is when we're solving our equations, work vertically down the page and keep our equal signs lined up until we have our solution x equals 5. So that's how to solve some basic one-step equations.